One of the foundational revelations of Jesus Christ is that he is called the Lamb of God. Well, what does that mean and what difference does it make in our lives? That's what we're going to talk about in today's Full Speed Devotion. Jesus Christ is called many things throughout the Bible. He's called Emmanuel, God with us. He's called the Prince of Peace. He's called Savior. He's called Lord. He's called the Son of Man, the Son of David, the Son of God. And here, through John the Baptist, one of the primary and foundational revelations of Jesus Christ is making him known as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Today's Full Speed Devotion comes from the scripture, John chapter 1, verse 29 that says, The next day John the Baptist saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And then in verse 36 it says, And he looked at Jesus as he walked by and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. Brothers and sisters, the phrase Lamb of God points back to a very important story where God had chosen Abraham to be the father of many nations and through Abraham to bless the entire world. And the fulfillment of God's promise all began with Abraham's son, Isaac. Now Isaac is a young man and God gives Abraham the command to go and offer Isaac up as a sacrifice. And just as Abraham was ready to do this, God sent an angel and stopped him and said, Stop! Now I know that you fear God. And Abraham came down from the mountain and said, God will provide for himself the lamb. That's exactly what's happened. That God now is bringing the very son that he loves, the dearly beloved son of God, and offering him up. Jesus has come to bless the world by offering his life as a sacrifice to take away our sins. He does more than the sacrifices of the Old Testament that pay the interest but can never actually remove sin. Jesus Christ came and offering his life as a sacrifice. He bore our sin before God and absorbed that through the sacrifice of his blood. God is satisfied. Our sins are forgiven. Our sins are covered. They're removed. They're taken away. And what happens when sin is removed? He leaves us with nothing but righteousness. And He has made us right with Him. He has made us free from sin. So what do we need to do? Brothers and sisters, we need to behold the Lamb. If you need a miracle, get your eyes off of your problems. Get your eyes off of your faith and behold the Lamb, Jesus Christ, who suffered stripes in His back for your healing. If you feel like you've blown it and need forgiveness, behold the Lamb. Stop thinking about all the wrongs that you've done and how many times that you've done them and how many times you've confessed them. Behold the Lamb who takes away your sin. Let Him bear your sin and take it away so that you can walk in righteousness before the presence of God. Are you going through problems? Get your eyes off of your problems and behold the Lamb. Fix your eyes on Jesus. If God gave His only Son up for you, how will He not also with Him freely give us every good thing. Do you need wisdom for a situation? Behold the Lamb, because He is the wisdom of God. How do we behold the Lamb? Well, we do that in prayer, in, by praising Him, by adoring Him, by loving Him, by turning our hearts directly to Him in faith. We behold the Lamb in the Word, by reading the Word and taking the Word to our heart, so that what we actually see is all the fullness of God that is in Jesus Christ. The price that has been paid, the victory that has been won. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb. Let's declare the Word of God and behold Him together. Jesus, you are the Lamb of God, and we fix our eyes on you. My eyes are fixed on you. You are the one who has paid the price for me to be forgiven. You take away my sin. My sin is gone and has nothing to do with my relationship with God. You have restored me to my destiny. You have paid the price for me to walk in your fullness. I receive your fullness today. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Brothers and sisters, I hope this encourages you. If it does, give it a like, a thumbs up, share it on your timeline so that others can find this message and be encouraged themselves. I encourage you also to check out my website, fullspeedimpact.com, where you'll find information about the Full Speed Impact Academy, our online mentoring program where we are mentoring believers to walk in the fullness of Jesus Christ and to multiply disciples around the world. God bless you and have an amazing day.